Hello everyone, uh, welcome. So my name is uh, Salvatore Brugaletta and I'm uh, Editor-in-Chief of PCR Online. And I welcome you to this uh, short video uh, where we want to introduce you to a very interesting section that we have on PCR Online since uh, some years now. So the idea of this uh, short video is to explain you which kind of resources you may find in this section, which you will see that are very useful for your daily practice. And uh, I have, uh, I mean, the pleasure to be here today. So with Christopher Naber and Christian Frecker, so both uh, from Germany. So they are, uh, let's say, the mind behind so this, uh, this section. And Chris uh, is in particular is the founder, we can say, of this uh, section, which has already started uh, some years ago. So thanks uh, uh, to him. So my first question is actually to you, Chris, uh, and uh, is about uh, how you did you get the idea of, uh, of this section. Yeah, thank you, Sato, very much. Um, this section is all about sharing knowledge, very short, practical pieces of knowledge. The, the basic idea came when I looked in the web, and I'm not sure if you are aware of this page. It's called WikiHow. If you look at WikiHow, you see um, how to repair a tire in a few slides, just images, not much text or how to sue a shirt or something like that. Even I can do it after I read this. And the idea was to give our community also a platform where we can exchange such practical tips and uh, ideas from uh, the practitioner to the other practitioner. Thanks, uh, Chris. So now is, uh, is um, to Christian. So now I'm curious, I mean, to know which is the value of this section. So why an interventional cardiologist should go to see this section? I was uh, really proud and happy to be part of this project as um, Christopher uh, invited me um, to be part of this um, section and um, because I'm really um, um, sure about the topic of this uh, section and it's um, very important for interventional cardiologists um, and um, uh, practice cardiologists to learn daily practice work and sharing the knowledge um, between each other um, with short and um, didactical illustrated um, articles for really um, technical aspects like um, bifurcation um, PCI um, for the uh, coronary angiograms or in the structural heart um, program um, specific um, procedures during a TAVI or mitoclip procedure. So it's um, really an interesting topic for sharing knowledge and um, daily practice um, is important. Thanks, Christian. So maybe, Christopher, you can uh, uh, drive through the resources of this section so that we know what is uh, going on on this, uh, on this page. Yeah, I agree, uh, Salvatore. I think this is a section which you really need to see in order to understand. Maybe I can share my screen. Um, so let me see. Um, here, first, you have to go to PCR Online. And when you are on PCR online, you have to click on cases and resources and then go down to the My Toolkit section. So it's very easy to find. And here is the section, My Toolkit uh, in cardiovascular, in interventional cardiovascular medicine. Um, there are, it's not only Christian and me, for sure. It's a, it's a big team behind that. So let me just show you the team. Um, we are working together with Jean Fajadet, and we have here a big review team, which are looking at all the manuscripts and articles sent to us. But there's even a bigger team behind it because we have a lot of authors and people from the community who sent their ideas already. So if we look at the section, then there is one thing which is important. Here is zero science. It's only practical exchanges, very short uh, bits, and all very well illustrated. And if you go down all these examples, which we have here, you can see that there are really, there are people like Joshua Lowe from Singapore speaking about how to use rotablator, a single operator, which is a very interesting technique. Or you see Goran Stankovic. I mean, everybody knows him and he speaks about how to perform correctly proximal optimization, tips and tricks. I speak with uh, Mohammed from my team about how to bend the wire. We have Didier Cheche here on pacing during Tavi. And here is a very interesting chapter, how to use guide extension catheters like the guideliner for stent delivery by Joe Rigger from, um, from Switzerland. And um, if I go into this chapter, um, you will see, you will see that it's a very brief text um, this is like how all the chapters are. 
very brief text describing the problem, going to the principal idea, speaking about the material. And then we follow with a lot of very nice illustrations how to really solve the problem or how to perform the technique. And then usually we have also videos in there. And here you see one video where Joe nicely demonstrates how to move the guide liner over the deflating balloon and advance it in the vessel. So it's really, really practical. And, and none of these chapters is longer than a few minutes to read. Now, um, what is really important about uh, this toolkit, uh, my toolkit section is that it's still here to be filled. Um, so we are really waiting for uh, the community to send uh, um, ideas and exchange and practical tips and tricks. Because on each of these um, uh, sections, we also have a discussion section. So you can give your opinions as well. Thanks, uh, uh, Christophe. So it's very useful that uh, everyone may share. So it's particular trip and tricks that may, they have in daily, daily practice. So now I want to be back on, um, on Christian. So, and that is uh, my last question for you today. So Christian, so how do you see the future of this, uh, of this section? I think the future of this section will be to um, more um, focusing on structural um, procedures because we have um, already um, some really illustrated um, topics for coronary um, topics. And uh, we wanted to focus more on structure, but of course, not only on, um, on structural interventions. We wanted to focus um, for every intervention and um, it should be really interactive, um, shared um, decision and um, a practical approach for daily um, work. And the next projects um, will be, um, as you already saw, we had a uh, right cusp overlap technique, which is um, a very important point actually in the TAVI um, procedure. The next um, topic will be a um, section of um, pericardial effusion. I think it's a very important um, thing for every interventional procedure. So um, not only for structural, also for coronary. We have a nice video in um, the section of um, pericardial effusion, but there are also uh, another topics coming. But I also want to en en uh, um, invite every colleague um, to contact me or Christoph um, for um, any um, kind of um, material and um, uh, topic of uh, which is of interest. That's perfect. So we hope that uh, with this uh, short video that we have made, so all the community know a little bit more about this uh, very, very special section on PCR online. And uh, the community will see that uh, there are many resources as you have explained. And of course, so everyone may submit. So any idea that may have, and I can share so something more with the community. So I thank uh, Christophe, Christophe and uh, Christian for being uh, here with us, all the staff of PCR Online. And thanks so, I mean, to uh, everyone who will see this, uh, this video. So thank you very much.